Hi, welcome to value proposition, mission statement, and core values. We're really excited to walk through this information with you. This may seem counterintuitive because this is a side hustle. So why would you need some of these things? And I'll tell you why. You want these things in place because it'll make growing your business easier and it's going to make taking your side hustle to the next level that much more natural when you're ready to do it. So trust us, you don't have to go deep on these, but just start to think about them and get some things in place. Let's get going. All right, let's dig right into core values and why they're so important for your business. Now, look, we know that most of you are just going to be solopreneurs, most likely, where you're starting out your side hustle and it's just you. Maybe you're teaming up with a friend or a family member or even your husband or wife, but it's unlikely that there's going to be a whole bunch of people that are going to be working with you. But here's a perfect example. When we started SB Pace, it's just Corey and myself, but we still went through all of these exercises. And the reason that we did was because it really helps to define our company. So core values, they're the fundamental beliefs of an organization. And these are ours for SB Pace, right? This is what people can expect when they're working with us. We build relationships. We're emotionally invested in our clients and we don't sell services our clients don't need. We maximize client value. Number two, we have fun and we work hard. Work-life balance matters to us and it should be for our client and it should for our clients as well. And then our third core value is that we're flexible in everything we do. Our hours, our work approach and our availability for our clients. We put the clients first. And everything we do, every decision that we make, we bounce it up against our core values. And this just helps us with guiding how the business is going to run. And when you're starting out with a side hustle, maybe you just have one or two core values. And it's that, you know, you're, you're working with honesty and integrity, or that you're always going to provide a valuable service, or that your products are going to withstand the test of time. It could be anything, just something that helps you guide. It dictates your behavior and it helps with decision making. And core values are, they're important. And it might seem it might seem silly when it's just a side hustle, but if that side hustle grows into something really, really big, then you're going to be one step ahead because you already have your core values and you've built things off of core values. So that's, that's the importance of core values. And they shape your business because you, they play a role in hiring. If your side hustle goes really well and someday you're hiring, you're going to want to hire people who are going to fit into your core values. They help build community. They improve morale because people understand. Everyone has a common vision and a common goal for the business and everyone understands where you're going. And that makes people happy. People like to know what's happening and they like consistency and it impacts revenue. Core values have a direct impact on your revenue. So make sure that if you have core values, that they reflect what it is that you truly want to do with the business and that you're living them every single day, even on a side hustle. And I know that might sound like overkill, but I can't emphasize enough. It really is important. It will guide you and you will be so happy you created them. Just, just create one or two at least. So here's some details and decisions to help around core values. What, what makes a good core value? Anything that feels in alignment with, you, with what you want your business to be, right? You can see ours are around our clients, but they're also around our flexibility and us having fun. So you can have core values that, that really touch on anything as long as you believe in them. For how many you should have, quite honestly, there's no wrong number here. I like to have five or less. I feel as if if you get more than that, then it's hard to maintain them or to remember them. And when you're just starting out, one or two is perfectly fine. Who should you include in writing your core values? Well, if, if you're just a solopreneur, just include yourself, but maybe bounce them off of somebody. But I will say this, try not to involve too many people who aren't directly involved in your side hustle in creating your core values, because then all of a sudden your business takes on the personality of someone else and you don't want that to happen. And the risk of not having core values, it's just, it makes it harder to, to make decisions and to direct your business down the road. So if you have 
if you're looking at longevity, then you want to have core values in place. And can you update and change them later? You can, but if you put the correct ones in place now, you shouldn't need to, but there's nothing wrong with, with updating them later. Next is mission statement. So here's SB Pace's mission statement. At SB Pace, our mission is to help small business owners achieve long-term success. So we are all about helping small business owners and getting them to a point where they are successful for the long haul. And that our mission statement speaks directly to that. A mission statement helps your business because it delivers the ideal vision of your company's future, right? So there, it's easy to create because this is where you want to be. This is where you want your company to go. It helps you direct growth. It helps with decision-making. It provides alignment. It will shape strategy and it helps with evolution and evaluation, sorry, and improvement. And I will say this, you again, may be thinking, this is a side hustle. Why do I need all these things? Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Don't spend weeks and weeks and weeks thinking about these things, but having them in place is going to help you as your side hustle grows. This is going to help you with decision making. It's going to help you know how to treat clients. It's going to help you with your return policy. It's going to help you when you get a bad review on the internet and bad reviews happen. These things help and they help people identify and understand what it is that your business is about. And value proposition. So for for SB Pace, our value proposition is success for your small business. And the value proposition is actually written, it summarizes why a customer would choose your product or service. Value propos propositions are written for the customer. So this is the thing that a customer would see and be like, ah, this is why I want to shop with these people or this is why I wanna give them my money. You need a value proposition because it helps your customers identify what differentiates you from the competition. Here's some great examples of value props. Uber, the smartest way to get around, one tap and a car comes directly to you. The driver knows exactly where to go. Payment is completely cashless. Slack, be more productive at work with less effort. Slack makes users' working lives simpler, more pleasant, and more productive. If you've ever used Slack, you know that's true. And MailChimp, send better email. That's it. They have three little words. Like ours isn't that long either, right? So honestly, your value proposition should answer the question of what's in it for me. And that's, that's all you need to think about as you're creating one. So writing your value proposition can be a little tricky for people. And along with your core values in the mission statement, we've also provided some exercises below to help you with this. Um, so I'll walk through this really quick, but you're going to see this in the exercise as well. So Harvard Business School um, Institute for Strategy and Competitiveness simplified how to write a value prop with these just three easy little prompts. What are your customer, what customers are you going to serve? which needs are going to be met and what relative price will provide acceptable value for the customers. Then these don't have to be answered in order, but when you think about these, these questions from that, from the perspective of the customer and answering them, it should drive you to your value proposition. That's it. That's all there is to cover on value proposition, side hustle, and mission statement. There's a PDF download below for you, walks you through some exercises. It also gives the gives you the examples that SBA, SB Pace has. And hopefully you'll be able to get through these exercises. And remember, keep them simple. This is for your side hustle, but this is in the event that your side hustle grows into something really big, which we hope it does. And then you're well on your way to having a solid foundation before you even really get started on building that business. Thanks.